Let's bring in Andrei Stavnitsyr. He's the Ukrainian CEO who asked the Ukrainian military to actually bomb his mansion when Russian troops occupied it. He has now founded a charity called Superhumans, and he's here to tell us a little bit more about this. So we know that, as I just, I just, as I just mentioned, Andrei, the Ukrainian war, this war on the Ukrainian side has left 5,000 people dead, 8,000 people injured, many of whom have lost limbs, need prosthetics. Just walk us through what you're hoping to change with this particular center. Hi, Zain. Uh, it's good to be here. Um, the, the, the atrocities and the horrible news from Bucha, Irpin, and now Izum, I think is, is just the beginning. Um, probably, we see this is already a war against civilians. So I'm, I'm really terrified to find out what's gonna, what we're going to see when we build, um, liberate Mariupol, who is still besieged. I think the worst news are still to come. <clears throat> so we see uh, a lot of casualties. We see a lot of um, traumatized uh, civilians. And even in my house that you mentioned, when uh, our brave soldiers managed to liberate it, the whole village, we found so many traps and mines inside it inside of it, for example, there was a, a bomb in a, in a washing machine. So definitely aimed at civilians to, to open it and to get damaged. So we see a lot of kids, we see a lot of uh, civilians um, stepping on a mine and losing their limb. We understand, unfortunately, it's impossible to get these people out to UK or US for treatment because there are too many of them. So we decided to create this hospital called superhumans.com where um, these people can actually get help. They're, they can get prosthetics, they can get their um, uh, face reconstruction or limb reconstruction surgeries, and they could help um, PTSD uh, to treat their PTSD problems. I mean, some of the images we're seeing on the screen right now of people who, are, I'm not sure if you can even see the screen, but it's of people who have lost I limbs. I can, unfortunately. Yeah, I mean, it's terrifying. It's terrifying to think about what people are going through there. And when you hear Vladimir Putin talking about calling up, you know, 300,000 reservists to help his side in this war, um, obviously a dramatic escalation. Do you fear that the worst is yet to come in terms of the damage and the pain that is going to be inflicted on Ukrainian civilians? Yes, unfortunately, I can see that. Uh, I think the spirit is very high and Ukrainians are going to fight till the end whereas Russians have zero ideologies, they have no idea what, what they're doing in Ukraine and how, what, what is the purpose of this war. So I think the guy is just going crazy and today's uh, speech is a, is a perfect exam example to it. So we should, we should really unite and get ready for the worst. Uh, and we should ask the West to get us more weapons because uh, we are super brave, we can fight really hard, but we're lacking some technology, we're lacking some weaponry. When you think about what goes into creating um, a center like this, a kind of rehabilitation center like this, it is manufacturing prosthetics, it's of course hiring medical staff, there's training, there's reconstructing existing hospital facilities. Um, how are you working to raise the money for this? How much is it going to cost, do you think? <clears throat> so we are now fundraising uh, and we are getting the best doctors across the world. These are the two topics that we try to address. Um, our total project cost is $50 million. Uh, we need to raise about 20 to start construction, which is hopefully going to be finalized early spring. We're doing this on the basis of the Hospital of Veterans in Lviv in Western Ukraine, approximately one hour away from the Polish border. And the idea is not to build a new hospital, but to take an existing one and to reconstruct it from the inside, <clears throat> bring all the most uh, needed equipment, and but especially bring the expertise in to bring the doctors and create a center of excellence. So Ukraine, unfortunately, is the hottest conflict on, on this planet right now. Uh, so by creating a, a center of excellence, we expect to teach not only Ukrainian doctors, but also global doctors from, from other countries so they could um, go and do similar operations in their, in their countries. So we are now looking for uh, top specialists in prosthetics and in reconstruction surgeries that could come and operate in Ukraine on a tour basis. We wish you the best of luck in tracking down those people um, to help in this Thank project. You. As I mentioned, 8,000 people injured in this war, many of them with life-threatening injuries. And what breaks my heart the most is that a significant portion of that number is children. Um, Andre, we have to leave it there. Thank you so much for being with us.